In this tutorial, we are going to see how to integrate multi text field check for your code to complete with the code ignitor. So, for that, I created each multi page in the employees controller. Also, I added views file in the employees directory within the views folder. Okay, in multi.php, uh, I created a uh, form within that um, added a table. So, by default, I kept single row when initially page loads with the unique idea of row underscore one. So also I created multi.js and include the reference of the multi.js in the multi.php. So in multi.js we will write our custom JS related to this functionality. Okay. So on the DOM uh, document ready, I created few variables and um, and selected uh, reference of few doc, uh, DOM elements and kept it in the variables. For example, uh, in add button I selected this add button reference saved it in add button so okay also i selected the image path uh, reference that date in the hidden uh, field also i select the base path that's there in the edit.php in the templates folder okay as i uh, kept the in base path so now i'm attaching a click even to this add new button so when someone clicks on this add button some uh, so I, I'm calling add new row function okay in the add new row function I am calling form HTML okay uh, this form HTML uh, forms new row uh, table row and returns the table row uh, appending the table row to this um, table body okay so if you check reload the page when someone clicks on add new row button so uh, the form HTML forms the new row and returns uh, that uh, return HTML is appended to the table body table body okay so we successfully ha dynamically added table rows now uh, attaching uh, the click event to this um, uh, th so when someone clicks on that so we need to delete that particular row right so for that uh, i'm going to add i'm selecting this class and attached click event to this when someone clicks on particular th i'm calling delete row okay in delete row uh, when someone clicks on that i'm getting the reference uh, the current current click element id and splitting it uh, when you split it will be in array so i get the lost element in the array that will be the row number that is three okay inspect it i'm planning to delete the row three when someone three on clicks on this row three i select i get the id of that th uh, and splitted it and getting the lo lost element in the, the i3 I'm form and dynamically forming the uh, id and removing it we successfully uh, you know uh, created uh, adding and removing tables dynamically next we will attach the auto complete event to this all fields i'm selecting uh, jquery auto complete uh, to this text field what i'm so if you check so each text field have a common class name called autocomplete text so i'm selecting this class and attaching focus even uh, to this uh, class okay whenever a particular uh, text field get focused uh, it triggers and a lot of complete uh, function okay so for example yeah it's get auto and a lot of complete is called in the and a lot of complete um, I get the reference of the currently focused element and then I get the field name so for example each text field have something called data field name and get the uh, field name of currently focused element and kept it in the field name okay then uh, I'm attaching autocomplete functionality to the currently focused element when someone start to type on currently focused element this callback will get uh, Triggered in the callback, it, uh, it accepts two parameter data and callback callback functions. So, in the data, if you see, you, you will get 
an as an object so whatever user type value we will get as an object so we'll make an ajax call inside that callback to get the results based on the query you said what you said type in the text box so i'm making ajax call i'm passing whatever user type value as, as well as field name to the um, employees control get countries functions inside the get countries uh, i call the uh, country model get countries functions in the country model uh, uh, i would dynamically forming the query select star from country where the particular focused element um, i'm forming the query and uh, executing that query and returning the response once i got the response i'm just an encoding it and sending that response back to the so i got the response this success callback will get triggered the success callback if i have the response i am formatting that response uh, to the label value and uh, the remaining data i put in the object data okay if you see uh, before, so i got this so this is what the response i got from the um, a server so i am so this is before format after i formatted that response it will be like this label value and data that data will us other options okay so i'm finally i'm calling this callback functions okay so i'm passing that uh, in your response to the callback so once i call it will show the auto complete so when i select the particular event this uh, the select event callback is triggered uh, in the callback i get the uh, selected entry uh, details so here what i'm doing is uh, have the currently selected element reference i'm passing that element reference uh, to the get id to get the row of um, currently selected element okay finally i'm simply forming the id of each text box and assigning whatever selected uh, value to the text field okay we successfully integrated multi field text auto complete thanks for watching and please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the updates immediately